come on over here with me while I go and get into these tweets. Today's fan tweets are brought to you by our newest sponsor, SeatGeek, which is great because if I ever need to get myself some Beyonce tickets and I have to find a hot deal, there is no question I'm going right to SeatGeek. And let me tell you all why. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events on SeatGeek, including concerts, sporting events, festivals, and more. And that's why I'm excited to have a ticketing partner that helps the Stephen A. Smith Show. Listeners find tickets to all the best games and big-time performers like Jay-Z, John Legend, and the one and only Taylor Swift, okay? They put all the tickets across the web in one place to make sure you're getting the best deal on what you want to do and who you want to see. So go and download the SeatGeek app and use my code SAS for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's right, you heard me. $20 off your first purchase with promo code SAS. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. Now, let's read some of my tweets here. Let's go. At Coach Sean Bell writes, is Dame Lillard the Dak Prescott at the NBA? Only puts up numbers when it doesn't matter. First of all, that's blasphemous. That's blasphemous right there. Don't you ever utter such disrespectful words out of your mouth again. Damian Lillard is the reigning two-time three-point shooting champion. Damian Lillard, okay, is one of the most lethal scorers and lethal closers in the history of the game. Dame time, Dame time. He says that for a reason. You understand what I'm saying? We ain't heard that from Dak. We ain't seen that from Dak. Last time I checked, even though he lost in the conference finals, Damian Lillard went to a conference finals. Has that happened for Dak Prescott? It has not. In eight-plus years in the league, the man has not been past the second round of the playoffs, hasn't been past a divisional playoff in the NFL. So don't you dare make that kind of comparison again. That is blasphemous. Blasphemous. Let's get to our next tweet right here. At Be More Like State, right, Stephen A., if you had to pick one person to help you out in a bar fight, you picking Bruce Lee or Batman? What? Of course I'm picking Bruce Lee. What's the matter with you? Into the dragon? Are you killing me? Are you kidding me? Don't ever ask that question again. Batman, I respect him, but it's all about gimmicks. It's all about gadgets. That's what he is. A hard, heavy rubber suit. You know, got the cape that help him, you know, gravitate a little bit. Can bounce bullets off of the rubber and all of this other stuff. I get it. But there's nothing superhuman about Batman. Bruce Lee don't have to be. He's just so spectacular. You understand? There would have been no Jet Li if it wasn't for Bruce Lee. Shang-Chi! Remember that movie that came out? I forgot the actor's name in real life. But Shang-Chi! That's a bad brother, too. That's a good movie, by the way. But he's no Bruce Lee. Jim Kelly! Chuck Norris! Boy, you didn't think I knew about people like that, right? But I did. But they were not Bruce Lee! Bruce Lee, the truth. And a half. Of course, I would pick Bruce Lee over Batman. Now, if you said Superman, it would be Superman. Bruce Lee can't fly, and bullets can't bounce off his chest. But Bruce Lee over Batman, all day, every day. Next up, what you got for me? At Sun Dog Nation writes, waffles, French toast, and pancakes. Rank them in order, easy. French toast, waffles, pancakes, okay? French toast, you basically just toast the bread, but it's nice, moist, with nice butter and nice syrup. If it's right, it's delicious, okay? Waffles are good, but they can mess it up if they make it too crunchy for me. I don't like hard waffles and you know, you're cutting it and then it's just spreading all over the place and stuff like that because it's too hard. But I don't like it too soft either. I like it mildly toasted. You understand? And you do that with the waffles. Pancakes, everybody loves pancakes. But the problem is it bloats you more than the other stuff. So you'll walk around after eating, you know? you know? I don't want that. I don't want that, okay? French toast, waffles, pancakes, in that order. Next up, what you got for me? At JJ Vikings, okay. Look at this little kid right there. Stevie A the kids. He sure does. He sure does. Dear Stephen A, I'm JJ Vikings a young teenager whose dream is to become an NFL analyst for the Minnesota Vikings. I admire the work that you're doing. My question for you is, what is the best part for you about what you do? 
Well, it's doing what I love to do, doing what I feel I was born to do. I loved sports. I loved giving commentary. I loved expressing my opinion. I loved writing. I loved articulating my thoughts, my opinions, my perspectives, my intel over the airwaves, whether it be radio or television. So all of those things come into play. Doing what I love to do makes it feel like it's not work. And as a result, no matter how many hours I'm called upon to, uh, to embrace the task at hand, it doesn't feel as arduous as it feels for somebody who's punching a clock and just doing the work every day to earn a salary, but they don't really love what they do. Here's my advice to you, young fella. And take this advice from Stephen A, because you're going to feel exactly what I say you feel. I don't care how much you love being an analyst for the Minnesota Vikings. It's not going to stop there. Eventually, you're going to want to call the great games. Let's say for the sake of argument, you want to do a Minnesota Vikings game, right? What if the Minnesota Vikings were 15 and 1, but the team they were playing was 1 and 15? But there was a game in Kansas City between Kansas City and Baltimore or Kansas City and San Francisco, and they were both 16 and 0. And the final game of the regular season, or it was a playoffs and it was Kansas City versus Baltimore, or if it was a superstar like Lamar Jackson versus Patrick Mahomes, or what if it was Patrick Mahomes against Dak Prescott, or what if it was Jordan Love or Matthew Stafford going up against Mahomes or Josh Allen or somebody and Minnesota's game wasn't as thrilling. You're not going to want to do just Minnesota. You're going to want to call the games that matter. So it's nice for you as a young whippersnapper to say that I want to become an NFL analyst for the Minnesota Vikings. But remember, that's just your start. The finish line is having your pick of the litter because you're so great, you're an A-team guy. And when you're an A-team guy, that means you go where the best action is. And that's what you want. Appreciate the call. Last tweet right here. Let's go to it. At PFT Gym, Stephen A, does a straw have one hole or two holes? It has one hole, period. Some people could say it's two because you got one at the top, one at the bottom. The reason I say it's one is because it's the same tunnel. That's what it is. You understand? So I don't view it as two holes. Some people could view it as two. They could do that. But to me, it's one. All right?